Yo guys, what's up? It's Andrew, and welcome to this video. And this video is my first impressions on Guild Wars 2, after getting my first character to level 20, and pretty much about 24 to 25-ish hours in the game. Now this video is kind of a second part to my first video, which was my first few or couple of hours in Guild Wars 2. Now, that will be in the description below if you want to watch it, but you could watch this video as the technical first part of my impressions in this series of impressions of videos that I will be making. Now, I want to make multiple videos on this game because Guild Wars 2 is a massive and huge game. There is so much to do, lots of content and information to get through. It is a huge game. So, if you want, you can watch this video as the technical first part, or you can go into the description below and watch the first video that I made on the Guild Wars 2, which is my first few hours impression of the game. And I ask also that, again, if I have any anything wrong in terms of information on Guild Wars 2, please comment in the comment section below. I said this in my last video, I just don't want to get anything wrong in terms of information on maybe classes or any sort of information on Guild Wars 2. Now to get started in my progress of Guild Wars 2. Now, my progress, again, as I said, has been about a day's worth of gameplay. I've played about 24 to 25 hours-ish, maybe in the middle of that, 24.5 hours, on multiple different characters. Although my main, which is a human guardian, is the main character that I got to level 20. It's the main character I've been playing the most, and the class I most enjoy. But I've been loving all of the classes and characters that I've been playing. I've played a warrior, I've played a ranger, and I've also played guardian, which is my main and I absolutely love. All the classes feel great, and I absolutely love the feel of all of them. There's a lot of diversity between them, and they're all great. But guardian really struck me the most out of all of them, so that's what I chose. And I've been really loving the game so far, as I've been getting farther and farther through it. Guild Wars 2 has been great. There's been many things, there's been many things that have opened up to me, as I've leveled, like, weapon choices, skills. There's so much to explore through the vast world, and so much, so much more doors have been opening up to me as I've been continuing to level through the game. And I've been really enjoying my progress through the game, and it's been great. It's been a really good time with Guild Wars 2. Now, I guess to start off with um, a good part of Guild Wars 2, which is the story. The story so far has been very interesting. Um, at level 10, I finally got my my first major story quest, and I had a lot of fun with it. And honestly, I figured that this story quest might have just been one large quest that I would do, and then that was it. But this level 10 unlock of a quest was actually an entire quest line, a whole story about a sketchy plot surrounding the human city divinity's reach. And it was really good. I actually really enjoyed the quest line. There was a lot to it. There, it was really fleshed out and it felt really detailed and great. Now, I won't spoil anything in case someone is watching and wants to get into the game. But it's a fun quest line and is really interesting enough. And I found all the characters to be super likable so far. And I really enjoyed having different choices through the quest line. And that is really nice that I have and that I'm able to have different choices. One thing I love in RPGs is choice. And having different choices, different dialogue choices within the storyline is a really good RPG, RPG touch. And I thought it was really good. And I, also, and I also really liked that in the character creation, your choices matter in the character creation. When you create your character, you get choices that develop your story and ask you certain questions. And it matters to how the story develops based on the character creation choices that you make. Make sure that they are the choices that you like. And I think that this is a great RPG touch, and I absolutely love it. And there's not many MMOs that really do this type of thing, which is really a shame. Many MMOs really should stay stuck to the roots of how they made this entire genre, which is MMO RPG. It's very important that you keep that in touch. And Guild Wars 2 does it fairly well, at least in terms of the quest lines and story. You get lots of choice in your quest line. And your character creation matters in the way that you choose how your character is built. Very important to RPG touch, and it's really, really good, and I really enjoy it. Now, the combat and gameplay has been getting even better as I've continued on through leveling in Guild Wars 2. The combat and gameplay 
just it feels great. I got my weapon skills at level two, level four, level six, and level eight. It felt great as I kept getting more utility, stronger abilities in my weapon toolkit. It felt awesome. And unlocking the other slots as well as I've leveled also felt great because there's lots of skills for the different classes that look so useful and awesome to use, but I will get into that in the next section. I also had the action camera enabled through the settings because many people were telling me about that. And the, the action camera helped my experience of the gameplay be much better. The action camera makes the game feel so fluid with the character movements and the combat. It feels awesome and I really enjoyed having action camera enabled as my main camera for the game because it feels really good. I've gotten more, more skills for my class and it feels great progressing, getting many new abilities and many new skills for my class and also getting new skills for my weapons. Now the weapon skills I got for my weapon, which is the weapon I've been using the most, the hammer, has been very satisfying to use. The two-handed hammer seems pretty supportive, honestly. It has a damage reduction AoE on it. There's lots of crowd control abilities on it, which is really cool. I love CC. And honestly, it just feels great how weapons differentiate from each other in so many ways. It gives a lot of meaning to the choice that you make with the weapon that you really want to use and enjoy through the gameplay of Guild Wars 2. And it feels really good when you finally find a weapon that you think is very satisfying to use and feels great to use when fighting enemies. Personally, for me, when I use my hammer, I love engaging the enemy by absolutely smashing them across the field. They go absolutely sent flying with this ability called Banish. And it feels really fun to use this because they just go flying. And then I engage again, going back in with my AoE, which makes me do a jump and dive and slams on the ground. And it's just so satisfying and it's so fun to use those abilities. It just feels great when you finally find something that you like in the combat and gameplay of Guild Wars 2. Now to get into the character progression and skills. The character progression and skills have been evolving pretty great for me as I've leveled from level 1 to 20. At level 11, I unlocked a new thing, which was the ability to use skill points, or what they call it in Guild Wars 2, the hero points, and I used those points to unlock even more skills for my class that go alongside the weapons that I already have. The weapon skills that I already have, rather. There's a wide selection of skills to choose from, and it was honestly so hard for me to choose from the plethora of skills that I had in front of me. So I just chose what looked coolest to me and what also sounded the best to use in combat, and I found a couple of things that were pretty cool, and I've been using them for a while, and they were great, they're super satisfying, and I love them. I love the amount of choice that Guild Wars 2 gives you with character progression and skills. There's a, so much potential for build making f just for your class from first glance. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of the meta or what's the best in Guild Wars 2. I don't know what's the min-maxing stuff of Guild Wars 2 and what's the best. Maybe I'll know in the future. But as of right now, I've just been enjoying the amount of choice that I've had with my class. It feels great in terms of an RPG perspective. It really, I've been able to flesh out my class even more and make it feel even more awesome. And that is just something I've enjoyed a lot in Guild Wars 2. As I've leveled from just 1 to 20, there's so many more levels I have to get through. And I've been enjoying it this much. It just feels great. Any, any MMORPG, in my opinion, should have tons of choices to make your class feel personable. To make it feel like it's your own creation. To make it feel like that you tailored this class to be most comfortable for you. And that you feel awesome playing that class that you hand-tailored yourself with all the skills and choices that you have with it. And just finally getting that. Finally making and making choices that you are most comfortable with and that you feel awesome while playing with it just feels really good. And the character progression and skills it really hits that on the dot. Character progression and skills feel great. It feels really good. And I cannot wait to get more into the specializations, which I'm going to unlock soon, and get more skills, and maybe even look into the elite specializations when I get to the expansions later down the line. Now, the massive world exploration. This is my favorite part of Guild Wars 2 so far. And honestly, this is... In my opinion, Guild Wars 2's biggest strength, and that is the world exploration. 
as I said before in my past video, again in the description below, I love world exploration and MMOs and in RPGs in any game, honestly. It's one of my favorite things to do in any RPG or MMO. It's to get immersed in a new world or a world I already know about or I've been in many times. Guild Wars 2 has just been so strong in this department. The exploration department for Guild Wars 2 is fantastic. It is so good. I love it. The way they've designed the world and the progression through it is just beautiful. So fun and relaxing to go through. It is amazing. I feel no rush to really do anything specific. I've just been exploring on my own time, reading the dialogue of NPCs, reading the dialogue of NPCs during world events that I find throughout the world, fighting a vast amount of different monsters and enemies. This world feels so alive, and not only just alive with filled NPC cities and towns and stuff like that, but also fields of monsters, and tons of players exploring too. And that is honestly really good that I'm seeing lots of new and veteran players alike. I heard honestly that Guild Wars 2 has been getting a, a pretty sizable boom in player base and that is really good and I'm glad to see that because it's awesome to see so many players in such a massive world. It just makes the world feel even that much more alive. And the most recent thing I unlocked as I was leveling was Hero Challenges at level 11 which throughout world exploration you will find and they will give you extra skill points or hero points as they're called in Guild Wars 2 for doing that hero challenge. Now sometimes that challenge was a dialogue option, like choices that you have to make, and you have to choose the right one. Sometimes it was a boss, sometimes it was a wave of enemies or many enemies that come at you and try to kill you. But it was a nice, it was just pretty nice to get something new to do in an already vast world with tons of stuff to do. It was pretty fun. The world exploration has just been an absolute treat in Guild Wars 2, and I very much look forward to learning more about this, exploring more, unlocking more of the world. I see that when on each type of zone that there is actually, it shows you how much you've explored of an area, and there's a percentage, it shows you how much of a percentage you've, uh, you've actually explored of the world and found. And I've been trying to 100% all of, all of the zones that I've gotten in, and I've only been in the first zone, Queensdale. And I'm, I'm trying to get 100% of it, and I'm at 98%. I'm so close to getting there. And I'm already level 20. I even explored a little bit of the, the Norn race starting area. And that zone is beautiful. I absolutely love the music in the area, and it feels amazing. The world is vast over there, and I love the map, and it's just an, a beautiful area. But I look forward to learning more about this. I look forward to exploring more in the world. And I look forward to unlocking more of the map as I continue to level up through Guild Wars 2. Now, just to conclude everything, overall, the first 1 to 20 levels of Guild Wars 2 has just been great. It's been really fun. I think Guild Wars 2 is absolutely worth playing through levels 1 to 20 if you are a new player. It's absolutely worth your time, in my opinion, at least from 1 to 20. This was just my first impressions on levels 1 to 20. I've enjoyed every time, I've enjoyed every second of my time leveling through these levels. Now, it's been getting longer and longer to get ev every level as I keep progressing, in my opinion. But I enjoy it so much that I really just don't even mind. I'm glad it's getting longer because I want to enjoy this process as much as I can. I love leveling in any sort of MMORPG. And honestly, if you're looking for a type of MMORPG that you don't want chores to do or you don't want to feel rushed or you feel like you have to get stuff done, then I feel like Guild Wars might be the one for you. This is the type of vibe I've gotten from Guild Wars 2. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, please let me know, but that is the type of feel I get. I feel like you can just relax with this game. You can do whatever you want. Just explore, level up your class, hand tailor your class. You can even go and do professions like mining or doing armor smithing, weapon smithing and stuff like that. You can do what you want in this game and nobody will rush you to do anything else. And that is what I've been liking about Guild Wars 2 so far. And that has been one of Guild Wars 2's, like just one of its biggest perks in my opinion. A lot of MMORPGs these days, you know, you just, you get into it and it feels like that, it feels like you have to rush to max level to get to the end game content, to do everything that everyone else is doing. Because if you aren't doing that, if you aren't doing what everyone else is doing, then you feel like you're left out. 
But in Guild Wars 2, it feels like there's so many people even in these low level zones. People are still doing this content even in the low levels. And that feels really refreshing. It just feels great to know that I can do whatever I want and enjoy it doing whatever I want to do. It feels like an open world RPG. That's what Guild Wars 2 feels like. It feels like an open world RPG just exploring around, doing quests that I want to do. Upgrading this class and getting skills that I want for this class, whatever I want to do. That is what makes Guild Wars 2 really strong in terms of this MMO RPG, just all of the MMO RPGs in the genre. It feels really strong in this vein. Now, and that is honestly how I enjoy MMOs the most, is it by just doing what I want. Maybe I'll make a video on that at some point, because it feels like a lot of people that play MMORPGs just feel like that they have to be rushed to get to the end game of any sort of MMORPG. It feels like they're rushed. It feels like that they have to get to the end game to actually experience the true content of the game. But in my opinion, that's just not true. There's so much to experience in every RPG. In M Sorry, in every MMORPG. Every MMORPG has leveling as one of the core elements of the gameplay. And it's something that you should really explore, delve into, and just enjoy and soak in for the moment. And really enjoy. But that's just a tangent. And maybe I'll make a video on that at some point. But, just to wrap it up, the RPG feeling of Guild Wars 2 is just fantastic with the amount of choice that you have. The story in, our, in Guild Wars has been developing very well. I enjoy the characters and the story and all of that. It's great. The voice acting is fantastic. I absolutely love it. The combat has just been getting better and better as I level up. It feels great. I absolutely love progressing, getting so many new skills as my character and just feeling stronger and stronger as I level up. And of course, the world exploration has just been fantastic. The world exploration is so good. I absolutely enjoyed this part of Guild Wars 2 the most, and I absolutely look forward to exploring more of it. And I look forward to going forward with this game and seeing how far I get with the game. I hope I get as far as I can, and I hope I explore every nook and cranny of this game, if that's even possible, with how massive this game is. It's so huge, it's insane. But that's just to wrap things up. If you are a new player, yes, please try this game. It's worth it, at least to one to at least from levels 1 to 20. Give it a try from at least levels 1 to 20. That's how much I played and I have loved it so far and I want to just play it even more. If you're a veteran player, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions on this and I hope that it's fun seeing the, someone their first impressions on the game through a new player lens. And just for everyone that's watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed. I thank you for getting far through this video and I hope that you have a good day, a good week, keep enjoying games, just go through it with your own time, play on your own time, don't feel rushed to do anything, just enjoy the game and have fun. Don't just play the game for chores and stuff like that, just have fun with the game. Enjoy the games you play. Again, have a good day, have a good week. I hope you guys all take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you, everyone.